Hello everyone, I am Efren Abella Jr., also known as DJ and Canto of DWTS FM, Timek de Santa Teresita. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and for today's video, we are going to explore one of the amazing rivers in the Philippines, the Cagayan River! Cagayan River or Rio Grande de Cagayan is the longest river in the Philippines. It has a total length of approximately 400 kilometers and a drainage basin covering almost 30,000 square kilometers. Cagayan River is located in the Cagayan Valley region in northeastern part of Luzon Island and traverses the provinces of Nueva Vizcaya, Querino, Isabela, and Cagayan. These provinces have approximate population of more than 2 million people, mostly farmers and indigenous tribesmen, the Ibanag. Ibanag people derive their tribe's name from Cagayan River's ancient name, Banag. The Gadang tribe live in the upper reaches of Cagayan River and its tributaries. In terms of travel, from Manila to Tigirao City, Cagayan, it takes 12 to 13 hours via land. And via airplane, it takes almost an hour to arrive in Tigirao City. Cagayan River has also a remarkable contribution in the history, not only in the province but in the Philippines. In 1567, when Don Juan de Salcedo explored northern Luzon, he landed his forces at a place now called Mission in the municipality of Bugay, located near what is to believe the original mouth of the Rio Grande de Cagayan. In the course of centuries, the Cagayan River gradually straightened its meandering course by leaving a Rio Muerto or Lagoon south of Bugay. The lagoon believed to be the original mouth of the Cagayan River. It is also along Cagayan River where you can find the Magapit Bridge at Lalo, the bridge connecting the province of Cagayan and the Locos Norte. The Buntun Bridge in Tugigarao City. The Magat Dam in Isabela, also known as the largest dam in the country, and many more. Truly, Cagayan River is very rich in history as it was made a history during the heat of Typhoon Ulysses last November 2020. The rush of water from Magat Dam as well as heavy rains brought by Typhoon Ulysses last November 20, 2020 caused the Cagayan River to swell and overflow that resulted the province to be placed in the state of calamity by that month. After all the traumatic experiences of the Cagayanos brought by the calamities and human activities, the provincial government through the Provincial Environment and Natural Resources in partnership with the Provincial Tourism Office headed by the Governor, various programs and activities about environmental protection and preservation have been implemented. I hope that through this simple video, together we can make a change to save our nature, our culture. This has been a friend saying, I love Mother Earth I love my province, Cagayan. I, I love, love Cagayan, Cagayan River. River.